Hi there, once again, welcome to Adiotech. In today's tutorial, we're going to use a library in Python, a library in Python to build a very simple clock. So we're going to do that. And then at the end of the day, we should be expecting something like this. So this is a clock. So you can see, I've been able to build this timer. So we have 22, 35, 20, and then we have the PM. If you want to display this in the 20, uh, 12 hours format, you can change that. So if I do some modification, I change my H over here to, to I, and I run this program. And I run this program, you can see it's now showing the 20, uh, 12 hours format. So I have 10, 35. So this is the time I'm recording this tutorial. So I've been able to create this using the TK inter library within python so we're going to create this from scratch so this is basically the simple code we're going to use to build this particular application so this is graphical user interface the gui application graphical user inter interface within python so we can use the tk inter to create graphical user interface we can build a very simple calculator in python using this particular library the tk inter so let's create this and see how this is going to look like okay so i have a whole blank new page i'm using the jupyter notebook you can use any other programming program editors you that you like you can go with pycharm or even vs code editor so what we need to do is that we need to import some models within python and use so you can see over here i imported three different models i import the tkinter and then i also import the tkinter.ttk and i import everything so let's start and see how this is going to be so let's first import this so basically to import anything in python remember if you are new to this channel remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell because i'm going to have a very good run of tutorials coming up which is going to be project based tutorial it's going to be basically about project and this will give you more insights as to what you can do with your programming languages so remember to subscribe so the first thing to do is that before we can use this build a graphical user interface we first need to import the tick inter library so we have to import that so i'm going to say from so i'm going to tick enter import star so what is meaning is that from this particular model i'm going to import everything from there and then the next is also to import tk inter dot ttk and without one to i'm going to import everything as you can see so if i use this term meaning that i'm importing everything the last thing we're going to do is to import time because we need to we need to import time because we want to we want to create a clock so i need to import a time so from time we import strlf time so this is what we're going to import so in this case we just want to be we don't want to use the entire time model so we're going to say from time we want to import we're going to import strlf time so this is all we need so we just need this from this particular entire model we're going to use just this so we just want to be summarize everything we don't want to use them entire time so all what we need we have it now so the next thing we're going to do is just to create our graphical user interface we're going to build the the ui and then we we'll also give a title so if i run this code for instance you can see the digital clock if i run this you see the digital clock showing up here the digital clock showing over so that's the title that's the title of our project so we first give the root that's the ui and then we give the title okay so let's go continue from there so i'm going to say i'm going to say root is called to tk and then the next thing i'm going to say i'm going to pick the root dot title and i'm going to give it a title so you can give any title at all you want okay so we're going to say root dot title and then the title is going to be in code so let me see digital clock as simple as that so we've been able to import this we're giving the title we're giving the our, our app and then we're going to create a function the next thing is going to create a function so we can give any name to the function but because this is time we can say time or my time or whatever so the function is supposed to have a descriptive name and we're going to go ahead and then to create a function in python use a define keyword so the def and then we're going to say my time and in this case 
I'll bring the colon and every other thing that will follow over here or be within this time. And in this case, we want to create a, a variable called string, which is going to store our time. We're going to define the format. So we're going to have we are going to have the hour, minutes, seconds, and then either PM or AM. So depending on the time. So this is basically will pick the time from of your PC. We'll pick your PC time. So that is what we're going to do. And we remember we imported this particular function from our model time. So we will need that one. So we'll come here and say so we imported this so you can just go ahead and then just copy this or just type it we imported this and then within this we're going to define our time format so if you want to define or you want to display your time in 12 hours format you just have to go with percentage percentage i if you want to do it in the 24 hours format you just use the h so it all depends on what you can do and in this case you see i've shown you the two formats and mostly i would prefer the 20 the 12 hours format and so that's my hour so i'm going to have my minutes i'm going to have my seconds and i'm going to have that is the either am or pm so basically that is all i need at this part of my project and i'm also going to go and say label dot config and then we're going to pick a text and then assign everything we have over here so this is the time format we created so let's put everything here and then the next thing we need to do is to also set our time so we're going to have our label so everything is going to change after a second so after every second is going to change so this is thousand milliseconds so thousand milliseconds is going to give us one second and then we'll call our function the my time so we're going to say label after so that label dot after after every one second is going to change that so we're going to say label dot after and this is going to say thousand which is thousand milliseconds and then our time will come my the name of my function as you can see so i've given this and this is going to work and the last thing we need to do is to set our label we just can define some background you notice that i have my label and assigned a different function over here, which is actually taking the our project the 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 view up giving a font of area with a font size of 100 background black and then the foreground the foreground color is going to be white so basically that's going to be the color so let me run this let's see something so i'm going to use this to explain this particular line of code so we've given a font and a given area and i given the font size of what 100 and i've given a background color of dark so you see my background color is black and then the foreground color which is white so that's the white of the text that is being displayed you can use any font you can even get a font that is having uh is displaying like a digital font so if you get any font that is like a digit you can use it to do that so i'm using this font and make sure that the font you use should be at least installed on your pc before you can use it so I have area you can go into your font library and then pick any font at all you want so this is what i have and then we'll use the 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 label that we have where dot pack the pack basically is going to make sure that the object is displayed within the window and it's also going to make sure that the object occupy the entire windows available you can see everything is occupied over here Okay, so we are set and then we can go ahead and then create our label and then assign the root and then we go we move on from there okay so we're going to have come down here outside of our function we're going to have our label so our label is going to call label call this function i'm going to have our root so once we have our root we're going to have the fonts the background and then the foreground so we have this you bring comma and then we're going to have our font so our font you can, like i said you can use any fonts and our font is going to be equal to and i'm going to use area of let's say area and then we'll give a font size of let's say 100 so it depends on the size of the font you want and then comma and then the next we're going to do is to also give a background so give a background color 
so our background can be any color in this case i'm going to use black and go ahead and the foreground is going to be white as you as you saw within what i display and we need to close these brackets which it has been done so if everything is set now we have this working perfectly for us the next thing is to do is to pack this so basically like i said the pack keyword means that we want to display everything within the window and it's going to occupy the available space within that particular window so we're going to say we want to center align everything but it's going to do everything so let's go down here and then we say label dot pack i'm going to play anchor let's go towards center so this is supposed to be center so as you can see we have everything set up and then we're going to call our function now so the function we're going to run this function down here we're running this function down here remember to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our application and the last thing over here is called the main loop the loop basically is going to make our application continue remain open okay once you run it to continue open until maybe we decide to close it because if you leave this here to like it to open and close immediately so we're going to keep our application open so this is a function and remember you need to bring this this is a function and it should be like this so when i run this if there's no error this should be running thank you if you are not seeing it just open over here so you can see that application is not running if i decide to change this color to something let me see the foreground the the foreground let me change it to cyan or whatever let's see what is going to happen so if i run this application again so you can see that i've changed the color of my text being displayed if you want to change the background the black or the dark if you want to change the black as a background color you can do that if you want to get a better font to make this application work for you, you can do that so you see we have all the windows control and everything that we can close that so this main loop is keeping our application open and so maybe we decide to close it or minimize it okay so this is the title and everything is working as you can see so this is a simple project tutorial project based tutorial and i'll be taking my time to explain everything on t tk inter which allow you to build graphical user inter i'll be taking my time to explain everything about tk inter which allows you to build graphical user interface interfaces using python so you need to stay tuned so you don't miss anything we're going to build our own text editor with tk inter our own calculator and all that so try to build a desktop application using this when we start about game we can use Pi games to build our own game so there's a lot coming up on this channel and you have the opportunity to enjoy that for free by subscribing and turn on the notification but anytime we upload a new content you're going to have that so this is basically a very very powerful and a complete working application and it will change, it will change according to our time over here so you can see if you check the button here my time is for 10 50 pm and basically it's actually showing over here as well 10 50 so it's going to work perfectly so this be a, a simple project using the tk in time just introducing you to that and this is just a hint more coming soon stay tuned and to like come your way remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell bye bye